we are a group of people, a generation that is entitled to be served. But to know that the model that Jesus gave for marriage and for us was the model that he gave in serving you, Megan, in serving you, Hunter. And to understand and know that this is not to represent a napkin to be served, but one to serve. And to know that what this serving represents is when he says in Ephesians chapter 5, Husbands, serve your wife like Christ served the church, even unto death. Hunter, Megan, today the challenge is that you would serve each other to death. Thank you for modeling in your marriage what this sacrament is of serving. In all my life you have been Hunter, are you ready to see your bride? I am. How great the chasm that lay between us How high the mountain I could not climb In desperation I 
turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night. Then through the darkness, your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written. Jesus Christ, my living Lord. Who could imagine so great a mercy? For a heart could fathom such boundless grace. The God of ages stepped down from glory to I, Hunter, take you, Megan, to be my wife. I, Megan, take you, Hunter, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Standing by the higher authority of God's word, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh. <laughs> you kidding. have kissed thousands of times before, but to uh, hundreds, couple, few, only a few times. Thank you. You've kissed thousands of times before, but today, the feeling of this kiss, it's new. No longer simply partners or just best friends. You are now husband and wife, and today your kiss seals with a covenant. You're agreeing. Hunter, you may now kiss you. Then came the morning that sealed the promise. Your very body began to pray. And out of the silence, the roaring lion declared. writing notes on her car and I had to go home and convince her that this man probably has feelings for you and he's not just trying to be friends because he's leaving notes on his car. But they've always been so welcoming to me and bringing me into their relationship. They've always mentored, they've always mentored me and just shown me how to love somebody and how to have such an amazing godly relationship. I don't know who I would look up to like, like I do y'all.
growing up, I uh, always would uh, debate with just random people, like, if soulmates are a thing. You know, that argument goes back and forth. There's good points on both sides, but regardless of the debates that I had with many of you people, I think we can all agree that these people are uh, meant for each other. I want to say the most tonight is just about God's timing. I was actually talking to your mom down earlier about God's timing on your relationship. It's absolutely perfect like it always is. And uh, today is the perfect day for you. Not a year ago, not a year from now, not two years ago, not two years from now, but right now is a perfect time for you. So thanks for letting all of us share in it today. Years ago, when we were discipling, and I said, "So, what's your dreams? What, what's what's the future hold for Hunter? What is it that you want want more than anything?" And you said to marry me. It was once said that a dream that you dream alone, Hunter, that's just a dream. But a dream you dream together, that's reality. For Hunter and Megan, your reality starts now.